What up, flockers? In this video, we're gonna go over five common household things that are deadly to birds. Please make sure you hit like and subscribe if you find this valuable. Let's get on with the video. I wanted to do this video for you guys because I came across this really sad post and I thought I should share this with you. Today, our family lost another bird. We have lost two conures in the span of five months the same way. I was making my husband lunch before work and my bird was acting perfectly normal. When I came to the living room, he was breathing hard and off balance, rushed him to the ER, but by the time he came to the hospital, it was too late. I called for inspections for any gas leaks or carbon monoxide leaks, but everything checked out, couldn't find anything. Our bird's on a strict diet. Has anyone heard of this before? The moment I heard this story, I immediately knew what it was because it is a very common death amongst first time bird owners. Because a lot of people don't realize just how sensitive birds are to poisons in the air. So I like to bring up this example because a lot of people don't know this. Back in the day, miners actually used to keep birds like finches and canaries inside of cages with them inside the mines. And the reason was, was this was the early days of a poison detector because birds are so fragile and sensitive to even trace amounts of toxins in the air that they will just keel over within minutes. And because of this, they would actually keep the birds so that when they saw that their bird died, they knew to get out of the mines as fast as possible. And this kind of goes into what happened here, which is very, very sad. But a lot of common household things actually will emit very tiny trace amounts of toxins that while are okay for humans, they are not good for birds and will take out your bird in the matter of an hour. That's exactly what happened here. The key thing about this story is that she was making her husband lunch in the morning. If the bird died while she was cooking, it was probably because she was using a non-stick pot or pan. Almost everybody probably has one of these. They are a great modern invention because you aren't gonna get crust and burns getting stuck on your pots or pans. But the problem is, is they work by, as they get heat, they start to emit a thin layer of gas that will keep things floating instead of actually getting embedded into the pot or pan. Now, while this is great, that gas it's emitting is called Teflon and Teflon is extremely toxic to birds. Extremely toxic to birds. It's okay for us humans, but it's not good for birds, and they will kill over in the matter of an hour. This is why I would recommend looking into alternatives such as ceramic nonstick pots or pans. While they're a little more expensive, they will protect your bird from harm as they do not emit any form of gas in order to prevent stickiness. But while we're on this topic, there's four other things that a lot of people use that they don't realize are toxic to birds. So one thing are sprays, any kind of aerosol spray. If you're using perfumes or hairspray or even dust blowers, those generally will use some kind of gas that is unfortunately toxic to birds. I would strongly recommend not using perfumes and hairsprays and any of those things inside your house. And if you absolutely have to, try to do it where there's strong ventilation or just do it outside. Because let's be honest, you don't want to lose your bird just because of a silly thing like hairspray. Next up are gonna be air fresheners and scented oils. Those are also incredibly toxic to birds. If you have one of those little auto emitters that spray every half an hour, avoid those as those also emit particles that are deadly to bird lungs. Next up are gonna be scented candles. A lot of people like scented candles because they smell nice, but as they melt, they are emitting toxic chemicals in the air for birds. While it's again, it's fine for humans, those particulates will clog up and kill a bird. So please avoid scented candles. And last on the list is going to be hair dryers. Yes, hair dryers. A lot of dryers use Teflon in order to prevent the coils from heating up. And that Teflon again is going to be toxic to birds. Now granted, Teflon generally is released when it's really high temperatures. Same thing with nonstick pots and pans. So if you keep on a really low temperature, it's okay, but you still wanna be extremely careful when you're doing it. If you do have to have your hair dryer on a hot temperature, please keep it really short because once those coils start to get too hot, that's when the Teflon really starts to emit. Oh, Sora didn't want to join us, even though we're ending. I guess it just means it's time to call this. That about sums it up. If you guys found this useful, please make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.